Good afternoon, everyone. This is Micah here, Daily Coffee with Micah. Uh, today, I'm drinking a special coffee called Founders Blend, uh, which I'll talk about later. It's distinct to Community Coffee, which is a, a coffee house distinct down way down here in the dirty south, Louisiana. And I'm drinking it out of my LSU Big Insulated Mug, which was a present. Um, but today's topic is going to be friendship and friendships are extremely important. Um, some people convince themselves when they, if they've been hurt a lot and they have some trauma that they don't want to be around people and, and this and that. And usually, you know, you just forgive and, and move on, but remember what you learned and remember that not everybody you meet you're gonna have this great awesome friendship with but some people you are and it takes time and i'm gonna give you a tidbit of something i've learned and i've told this to people before uh a, a lot of times it's kind of like a reversal of what you think in my experience if i hit meet somebody that day we hit it off really big emotional connection and it's just boom, and we just think we're going to be best friends after one or two conversations, it usually fizzles out pretty soon, uh, in my experience. Usually when I meet somebody and nothing special seems to happen, say it's at work or whatever, or church or overtime or whatever, and you get to know them slowly, they actually become a real friendship because there wasn't this big explosion of emotion that drew you in and then really, you know, when you start finding out who they really are, it's just kind of disappointing. So pick your friendships wisely also. Big, big deal. Like, listen to the red flags. Learn from the mistakes of your past. You don't want to prejudge people without knowing who they are. Okay? So there's like a big balance in all of this. But remember your past. Take it as wisdom when you're choosing your friends. Listen to your instincts. Don't judge, but remember all, you know, just remember. And, and you know, not everybody's meant to be your friend. You know, you're going to have times with some people you want to be friends with, don't want to be friends back. Don't push it. That can get just creepy. Um, also, um, look, realize that it's also better to have just a few, a handful or two of good friends than a hundred just not just not really good friends, just acquaintances. But there's a difference between a friend and an acquaintance. And you gotta you gotta like in my opinion, when you're picking a good friend, they need to be someone trustworthy because as humans we're naturally gonna go and vent and talk about things we need to get out to our friends. And if you've picked friends that are not trustworthy mature people they are going to end up possibly, if, if they have some bad habits, they're going to gossip about you behind your back and ruin your reputation. They might even bring the, some of your weaknesses out at you to hurt you if, you if you're ever in an argument. You just need to make sure you're choosing people that have integrity, that have, uh, that have wisdom, that are just mature, that are real and honest and sincere. Uh, you know, when you have these big emotional explosions at the beginning, a lot of times it's not sincere. I'm not saying it can't always, it's always like that, but a lot of times it's just, you don't want to get wrapped up in sensationalism. And um, you can apply that to all kinds of things, the things that you watch, that you let come into your mind, that you read, all that stuff. But, you know, especially friendships, marriages, just make sure you're picking people who are trustworthy, who aren't going to gossip behind your back. You know, I mean, nobody's perfect and you don't know the future, but you can learn from your mistakes, you know, and other people's mistakes. And before you start getting too deep with somebody, test the waters out a little bit, you know, don't go all in on the first, second or third conversation, you know, so, but friendships are important and we need them. You know, we, as humans, we need friendships. We need to be able to have somebody we talk to. And somebody that is mature and has some good advice, you know, they can give us. So you'll learn those things as you go. And I would advise you, if you have some friendships in your life that are toxic, that people are always wearing you down, they're taking from you, they're never giving back, they're talking about you behind your back, they're sucking the energy out of you, they're always complaining, they're just negative people, uh, I would advise you to just, just drop them, you know? Like, you don't have to be mean, you don't have to offend them. I mean, they might take offense, and if 
if you're doing it with a good heart and a good motive, that's not your fault if they take offense. But, you know, like, sometimes you got to cut people off. And then, so anyway, choose your friendships wisely. Uh, by the way, I'm drinking the Founders Roast. Now, it is uh, distinct for community coffee. So if anybody wants any, I'd have to uh, comment below if you like what you're hearing. And I'd have to actually ship you some from down here in Louisiana. Um, it's a medium roast. It acts, it, it's labeled as a medium dark roast, but to me, it seems more like a medium light roast, kind of. Um, it says it has a medium body. I'd say that's about right. And it says it has like a medium brightness. I would say it has a little bit lower of a brightness. Um, it's not bad. Uh, I like darker, more full-bodied coffees for sure. Uh, the customer ratings on here are really good, though. It's got... 4.8 out of 5 stars, pretty much. I mean, every everything's pretty much good um, with the rating. So it's not a bad coffee. It's a blend, Founders Blends, Private Reserve. It's in honor of the founder, Cap Siraj, of Community Coffee. Uh, Matt Siraj, who is the owner now, his great-grandfather was founder, Cap Siraj. And it's just in honor of him. Uh, the, the, the blend comes from... Uh, four distinct South American and African growing regions uh, to make this cup of coffee. So um, if you want to hear more about it, or of course I have my promo, uh, if you like what you're hearing, hit the like button, subscribe, turn your notifications on, share if you'd like to, if you know coffee drinkers or people that could use some, in, some wisdom and inspiration every day. Uh, but if you want my promo, let me know what type of uh, coffee you want me to review your name, I'll give you a shout out, and then um, I'll sign you an autograph a mug, Daily Coffee with Micah, and ship it out to you. So, y'all have a good one.